What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to 303 Streets. My name is Brandon Lechuga. Today we're going to be adding an accessory to the Bronco. Right now I have a panel off so I can show you how, or I have a little bit better light to show you how to install this uh, little accessory. But as you can see, the panel's right there. If you don't know how to remove these, check out uh, one of my videos. I show you how. But anyways, let's get to it. So today we are adding the safe to the, to the Bronco. So... Nice, cool little safe. Um, as you can see, I took the carpet out that goes inside of it. It's right there. Uh, I, I recommend taking out the carpet for this install. And we're just gonna kinda go through why. So as you can see right now, it, it's not bolted down. And there's no wiggle. So I left the carpet in there and uh, it had a lot of wiggle because it wouldn't let this sink like that, like it needs to, to where it kinda doesn't pull out. So it has to sink in there and uh, the carpet wasn't really letting it do it. So again, it kind of goes down and it sits pretty snug. When the carpet <clears throat> was in there, it wasn't sitting that snug. So I might just uh, keep it and put it in here like that and kind of push it down or cut it to size after I screw it together. So what you're gonna do is this kit should come with four screws and they're gonna go one right there one right there and it's gonna be the exact same on the other side to where you uh, just screw it in so I'm gonna screw it in really quick with the screws that I have uh, the ones I have were not provided by Ford or not Ford the company that I bought this from so uh, I was kind of annoyed with that so hopefully they give me the right ones I'm gonna use some uh, smaller ones right now to I reached out to the seller to see if he could send me the proper stuff. Not only that, uh, as you can see, there's two on the end. Those little uh, nuts on the end are different from the rest because he also didn't send me the proper uh, uh, stuff to finish mounting this because I have to also mount it right here and there and then same on this side. So I'm going to screw this in really quick, kind of show you what I did, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, as you can see, I kind of have my screws in there and set. Um, again, definitely make sure you have everything lined up properly because you don't want to be um, doing this and have it lined up and be doing a bunch of uh, holes in your console. So then this should just kind of, uh, it's gonna take a little bit of finessing to get it, but making sure everything is lined up properly. And you can just sink in. Um, again, it's a little bit more difficult doing this with one hand. So again, when you have two hands, it should be a little bit easier. But it should line up pretty easily, pretty good. Um, kind of just finagle it around. There. Okay. So, so it's popping in one at a time. But either way, that's how it goes. Um, I actually changed my combination really quick. Uh, let me open it up show you how to change your combo so once you get it open it has to be open like this turn it like that it has to be open to where you can press that pin in back there you'll feel it go in and then the numbers will pop up and then you can uh, set your combo and it should work and then uh, yeah super easy so that's how you um, set the pin and open it up make sure it's open open all the way put a little pin in there and then the numbers will pop up again a little bit more difficult to do with one hand so I'm not gonna really show you but yeah that's how you do it press that pin in and the numbers will pop up so I'm gonna get this set inside and then I'll show you how I'm screwing it in all right so right now four screws or hand tight it's these ones that I use under there so as you can see there's one right there one over there you can still kind of see they're a little tight or they're just again like I said hand tight and of course you can't really see but there's one right here then one right here so they're just hand tight right now this is where you're seven millimeter i think that's what it was 
Yep, seven millimeter socket will come into play. Kind of just stick it in here and tighten it up. Again, everything's just hand tight right now. So I'm gonna tighten it up and then I will, oh, I don't want this one to fall out. Tighten it up a little bit, there we go. And then I will uh, put this little pad in there. Again, I would have put this in before if I were you. A little bit easier when you do it before. Here's the little pad. And yeah, then you're good to go. Um, I'm just gonna hand tighten it up and then, or not hand tighten, I'm gonna tighten it with my socket and then it should be good. So the cool part about this, what I like a lot, and my wife was actually really worried about, was, all right, cool, and now you have a safe in here. We took away the only, you know, phone charging spot. Well, luckily, this safe comes with one, so you can plug it in, run your wire over here, make sure it won't get pinched. Again, a lot easier when you have two hands. Nope, oh, and there it is. Um, so again, a lot easier when you have two hands to do that, but uh, you can still use your phone charger and it won't be affected. So you don't lose that, which is nice. You just have to be careful anytime you're opening and closing it that you will be good. So um, yeah, I put this in here for a lot of reasons. Uh, I'm working on getting my concealed carry right now. So if I go into a place that doesn't allow it, um, yes, this does lock but it's nice to have a safe in here. So uh, a little bit more secure and stuff. So um, I will, I'll lock both if I ever have to leave my gun in there or anything of value. So um, yeah, really cool little safe, 150 bucks on Amazon. Uh, I think all said and done, mine was like 145 with shipping. So that being said, uh, Killer Steel, um, highly recommend this. And again, it's a really easy install, especially if they give you the proper uh, screws and everything to install it. Um, like I said, I asked for the proper little, you know, nuts so I can take these out and put the right ones in again. And I also asked for the proper screws so I can just unbolt the four screws right here or unbolt the four nuts right here, take it out, put the proper screws in and be good to go. So, um, yeah, hopefully you found this video helpful. Hopefully it wasn't too long. And again, it's a really easy install, super simple, but, um, Sorry, you're gonna, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Super simple install, really easy, and <clears throat> hopefully you find this helpful and you end up getting one of these yourself. Really cool, like I said, I like it. Um, the only thing you will lose is this little plastic thing that came with the Bronco. I'm like 100% sure. Yeah, you can't use that anymore. So then this becomes useless. But um, yeah, I'm gonna figure out a little bit more storage in here. Um, all that can go back in there, but we'll see what I do with it. But again, thank you for watching 303 Streets. My name is Brandon Latruca. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos to come. Thank you and have a good day.